Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel and for today's video I'm gonna be showing you uh, just the basics on how to get a uh, skin tone for your uh, custom action figures you know if you're um, working on uh, your Marvel Legends your um, you know your your uh, McFarlane's or whatever action figure that has a uh, human <laughs> skin uh, on it um, <clears throat> this is a good uh, basis uh, for a, a skin tone uh, to start off with um, I'm going handheld since it's gonna be easier to show you you know go mobile and you know instead of having a set up uh, the camera on a tripod um, uh, everything that you're seeing here is just a you know nothing is exact since obviously the uh, colors that I have will probably not be the same that you have uh, so take this just as a general guideline uh, but the principles are pretty much the same um, so let's get started um, the the up here on top so this is what we're going to start off with to get our base skin tone, right? Uh, we're going to need a, a white, a yellow, a red, and a brown. A brown is not essential, um, but it's good to have uh, just in case, right? Depending, if, uh, depending on how the previous mix went, um, you may need the brown. Um, <clears throat> if you don't have a brown, if you know your color theory, or if you don't, I'm going to show you, uh, in order to get a brown, you need a green and a red. You need to mix those colors to get, um, a brown. Now, how do you get the green? Well, if you already have the yellow, uh, and if you have a blue, you can mix those to get a green right these are all just basic primary colors so yellow plus blue gets you green you add the red you're gonna get the brown of course we already have the red over here right so if you already have a red then um, and just add a little more red uh, or just add a little more blue to the combination to get uh, a brown but it's recommended to don't mix your colors if you want to get a brownish color right don't mix it while you're doing the uh, the combination of white yellow red because the, the uh, ratios are different right so um, it's, it's recommended that you use the a brown that's already pre-mixed to get you that brown color, right? So don't add green and don't add red to the combination of white plus yellow plus red. Uh, it's all, so get your brown color mixed and then you add it to the white, the yellow, and the red, <laughs> right? Now, as far as ratios, again, these are just rough estimates right but the, the thing is that you want to start with more white than the other colors right so that's why i put around 50 to 60 percent uh white and then you know around uh 30 to 35 percent uh yellow uh, and then about 10 percent 10 to 15 percent of red and finally so uh you know a small uh use of the brown right um, the colors that I use to make these uh, samples I didn't use a white straight off the bat I used a vanilla color and then I used a, a medium yellow and a red and a brown um, the brown color is just one from a uh, I'm not sure if it's the exact brown brown color you know it's from these paints that I was testing out uh, it's the only brown that I had but these paints don't have uh, 
the color name on them. So I'm just going to go with it and, and say that it's a brown. All right. So here is what I did as far as testing. So the numbers at the bottom represent the number of drops that I used to get the uh, specific tones. Uh, so for white I started uh, again I didn't use a white at first I, I used a vanilla color so it's like an off-white. Um, I started with uh, six drops and then for the yellow I used three drops and for the red one drop and this is the uh, base uh, skin tone color that I got from it right um, if I uh, bring in let's say um, I don't know, Megasonic Teenage Warhead Teen whatever her name is um, her skin tone is a little lighter than that so if you want to achieve a lighter um, color what you do then is you add uh, white to it right so that's these two samples right here if you want to go darker you add the brown now here from this combination of six drops white three yellow and one red I got this base color and then to that I added four to five drops of brown and I got this tone right from there if I wanted to go darker I added five to six more drops for a total of around 10 plus drops and I got a darker shade as you can see here and these are the comparisons of them together the bottom one is the one the first uh, four to five drops of brown that I added and the top one is the second uh, that I added an additional five to six so if you want to keep going darker you just add a little more brown to it now if you want to get lighter as I mentioned you add more white now here I did add a titanium white to the mix so from here from this point I added four to five drops of the titanium white and I got this tone right here and from there I added an additional five to six drops for a total of 10 plus drops and I got that tone right here okay then these are the uh, the comparisons of the whites it's very subtle maybe the camera isn't picking it up mm. but and again, it's also due to the material, right? I'm just using um, cardstock. So uh, depending on, you know, what color base you're using on your figure, if you're using, um, you know, white primer, gray primer, or, you know, combination of that, uh, any any uh, base color, that is the, uh, the color is going to uh, come out different. So there's also uh, that to consider. right but basically what you want to do is again you need more white out of every other color on the mix you will want uh, slightly less yellow you know maybe you can extend that from the white from the 60 percent maybe to 70 and then the yellow you can drop it down to 20% and then 
uh, you know, a single drop of red and, you know, a single drop of brown, right? So you can experiment and test and see uh, based on the colors that you have, how they come out uh, behind uh, the, the, here the guides. Here you have a lot of different colors that I was mixing and testing afterwards. After you lay down your um, your base colors on your figures, you can then do um, washes off of these uh, base colors. You can add washes. You can add like a pink wash, even add a, a blue since blue is part of the uh, complementary colors here that you have when you're mixing in uh, to get the brown you're adding blue to the yellow right so you can uh, add uh, that uh, as part as your wash you can also you know add like a pink a pink color to your uh, to your general wash again since uh, red and white give you a uh, you know a, a sort of pinkish color Right. It's not, you know, depending on how much red and how much white you mix in. Um, but uh, those colors are recommended that you do not use for the um, for the basis of your uh, on your mix of your base skin tone. So I would not use a pink, right? I would not use a. I would not recommend starting off with like a pink to uh, substitute for the white and red because again the ratios are different you will need to add a lot of white to pink and a lot of yellow to it uh, to complement all of the uh, the red that is on the pink so you would, it, I was I was trying to to make that mix myself here and now that uh, first uh, you know example right here that's already dried out that was um, after I added a lot of white and this is after I added a lot a lot more white so I mean you, you can accomplish and get a uh, um, a base skin tone but um, it's gonna take some experimenting uh, so again it's just easier if you start off with uh, this formula here it will save you a lot of uh, headaches and uh, waste paint so yeah there you go uh, again if, uh, if you have a, a particular action figure that you want to try and um, mimic the, uh, the skin tone again just uh, you know try and do side-by-side -side comparisons and see um, what your mixes are coming out how are your mixes coming out and then just write down right uh, the, um, the different ratios that uh, you are using <clears throat> and you can then you know adjust those ratio ratios as you go for whatever need for for your needs uh, yeah so there you go hope this is useful uh, hope uh, you know you have uh, success with these with this um, with this mix. I've uh, had uh, you know good results on my end. Again, just experiment. Instead of maybe using a pure white, maybe try vanilla, uh, you know, or, or some off white color. Um, you know, again, try different yellows, try different reds, and see how they are. Uh, uh, coming out and yeah that's about it um, thank you for watching and I'll see you on the next one